Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Beige. If you are new here, welcome. Today's video will be working with this wig that was sent to me from Ali Pearl. I'll have all of their information, promo codes, and direct links down below in the description box. When I opened up my package, I received my wig, of course. I also received a wig storage bag, an elastic band, instructions for the wig, and a wig cap. The wig that we will be working with today is a 20 inch, 180% density, body wave wig with a fake scalp. This wig comes with three combs, an adjustable strap, the hairline is pre-plucked, and it has baby hairs. Here's the wig straight out of the package and placed straight onto your head. It's a beautiful body wave pattern. The hair is a good density. I wanna show you guys an up close of the hairline. I do notice that the knots are not bleached on this wig, and because there is a fake scalp there, I will not be able to bleach the entire the entire frontal portion of this wig. So I will only be able to bleach the parts in front of the fake scalp, as you can see. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab my quick blue powder lightener as well as a 20 volume developer. And I'm just going to bleach the very front hairline of the frontal and I'll come right back. Okay, so now that the hairline is bleached, I'm going to go ahead and pluck some hairs from the hairline. You don't want to pluck too much because there is a fake scalp. And if you over pluck, then you'll be able to clearly see the, um, the demarcation line between the fake scalp and the normal lace. So we're going to go ahead and just pluck a bit more hairs for it to look a little bit more natural without over plucking. I am going to do the beige method of zigzagging for this part and I'll come right back. Okay, so let's get started. The first thing that I'll be doing is grabbing a permanent hair color cream. This is from the Igora Royal line by Schwarzkopf and it lifts and deposits hair color in one easy step. I have a few tutorials posted on how to balayage and how to lift and tone in one easy step using this product as well as one from Pravana. And because I have those full tutorials posted already, I don't wanna make my videos too repetitive, so we're gonna breeze past this part. I'm just gonna just briefly explain how I'm going to apply the color. So the color placement that I'm going for for this particular wig and this particular style is going to be a brick laying method, which is similar to lightening hair for a balayage look. When I get to the front of the wig, I do want it to have like face framing highlights, but I want to also have peekaboo highlights showing through in the front. And I'll explain that when I get to the front. So if you are unfamiliar with the brick laying method, the brick laying method, if you imagine a brick wall, the bricks are not directly on top of each other. Because if I dye the hair directly on top of each other, the placement will just be a full color of hair, if that makes any sense. But if I'm skipping certain sections and certain rows and applying it in a particular way, then it's now creating a pattern in a way. So with a brick wall, the middle may be coated and the left and right may be black. And then on the next row, the left and right may be coated and the middle will be black. So that's kind of what I'm doing. I'm gonna start off with the first row by just braiding that because I want that to be completely black. And when I get to the second row, I'm gonna focus the color on the left and right side of that row and keep in the middle black. When I get to the row above that, I'm going to keep the left and right sections black and focus that hair color on the middle. And we're just gonna do that same pattern until we get to the very front or top of the wig. And I'll come right back to explain my placement for that. This is a professional grade product. So if you are not a licensed cosmetologist, you will not be able to get your hands on this product. Um, I will reference those full tutorials down below in the description box if you're interested in seeing it. The hair dye that I chose is in the color 6-5 Dark Blonde Gold.
when I get to the top of the wig, like the crown area, I want to make sure that I'm doing smaller sections because in the back I was doing thin wide sections. Now I'm just going to focus on doing smaller sections so that it can create more of a streak look. When we get to the very front where the frontal is, I am going to do a middle part down the center of the frontal and I am going to do two horizontal um, sections to thin horizontal sections and I'm going to grab that die and I'm basically going to create that peekaboo effect so when the hair is all down it's going to look like it is like face framing normal highlights and you're not going to be able to see that brown as much in the front but once I move the hair out of my face you're going to see that beautiful sun-kissed brown mocha chestnut color one thing to remember a vital part of applying hair color to a wig that you're highlighting or when you're doing balayage you want to make sure that most of the product on your brush is being placed at the middle or the bottoms of the section and anything that you have left over on your brush you want to just sweep it upwards so that you're not having that line of demarcation and too much color at the top unless that's the look you're going for but today we want a very gradual type of hair color fade Okay, so now that we're all finished, I'm gonna allow it to process for up to an hour and then I'm going to wash and deep condition this wig and come back with the beautiful results. And here she is, it's such a beautiful color. I'm obsessed with the streaks on this wig. As I mentioned earlier, when the hair is combed all down, you will not notice the browns in the front as much. It will just look like your typical balayage with your face framing highlights. But when you move the hair out of your face, that's when you will notice more color. Um, and I just think that it's just such a beautiful, beautiful look. It's perfect for the winter. It's perfect for fall. It's perfect for any time of year I would wear this wig. Such a gorgeous wig. What would you name this color? Let me know down below in the comment section. So now we're moving on to the frontal. I did find that this, the fake scalp was more of a peachy tone and it was much lighter than my own skin tone um so it didn't blend in with my complexion at all i'm gonna have to tint it with my custom made lace tint of course you know i do have a full video on how to create this if you've been following my channel then you're very very familiar with how to create your own custom lace tint i'll have that video posted somewhere down below or on the screen for you to click on i'm gonna do two different layers of this lace tint blow dry it in between each layer and this is going to turn the entire frontal into the complexion that I'm looking for or in the color that I'm looking for um, and it's going to melt into my skin a lot better now. Okay, so moving on to styling, I'm grabbing my Baby Bliss Pro Curling Iron and I am going to curl this wig up. When I get to the frontal portion of this wig, I do want it to be very sleek and smooth. So I'll be grabbing a flyaway tamer and my pressing comb to just smooth out the frontal portion of this wig for the most flawless install. So finally, after all of our hard work, it's time to install this wig. I'll be grabbing Got To Be Ultra Glue Gel in the black tube, and I will be applying two layers to my hairline, blow drying, of course, in between each layer, applying the wig, putting my head scarf on, and then cutting the extra lace off with my eyebrow razor. Of course, you know I have a tutorial posted already on how to do that if you are unfamiliar with that process. But here are the results after combing through the hair 
and allowing the curls to drop a little bit. I did add some baby hairs to my temple area. If you're interested in this wig, I will have some promo codes and direct links down below in the description box. So don't forget to check down below for more information. What would you name this wig? This is giving me more of a Reese's Pieces type of vibe. I am obsessed with the peekaboo highlights in the front and the overall highlights on this wig. I think it complements multiple skin tones and it's such a gorgeous color. If you are afraid of trying color, I think this wig will be perfect for you. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, don't forget to leave them down below in the comment section. Don't forget to check down below in the description box. I'll have all of the information to this company and some promo codes if you're interested in purchasing this wig. Let's chat down below in the comment section. I can't wait to see you all in my next video. Bye guys. Yeah, that's right. It's Bezos. Ay, ay, ay.